why enterprises should be concerned about the post quantum cryptography and why now? Enterprises have been securing the data with the cryptography for years over years. And uh, with the post quantum computing at the rise, you may have seen a lot of news which is coming out that quantum computing is advancing at a much, much faster rate. There's a recent announcement from Microsoft, AWS, and Google to come up with the quantum computing chips. Now that leads to a threat. And the quantum threat revolves around how do enterprises ensure that the data is safe and quantum safe? How do they ensure that there's a compliance? How do they help maintain the trust with their customer? Because if you see 90% of the enterprises, they secure the data with the asymmetric keys. These are the RSA or ACC or other keys. Most of these keys are used to secure the digital certificates or the public key infrastructure. But at the same time, AES-256, which is a secure key against a quantum threat, requires a larger signature. Looking at the impact of these keys or of the quantum threat is massive. Bad guys, they are looking at your data, they are stealing these data with the current cryptography and they know they cannot decipher it today. But this, they are keeping it, which is harvesting. So they are harvesting all the data which is stolen right now and waiting for the quantum computers so that they can decipher it. Their main reason is ransomware. Once they have access to your sensitive data, they want ransomware or they want to exploit that data for their other, other needs. The loss, the impact of this quantum threat is huge. We all know the data breaches have been on the rise and the cost of data breach this year has reached to 4.88 million, where US topping the list, Middle East following up. It also leads to the lack of trust between the customers. Now, if customers know that your data is quantum safe, they will have more trust to use the enterprise products. And last but not the least, to make sure that they are compliant with the regulatory standards. So in all, if I summarize it, quantum computing is evolving at a very, very faster rate. And it is right now is the time for the enterprises to act now, to make sure that their enterprise data is quantum safe and they're transitioning to the quantum safety. Now, you may be wondering what we are doing at Cortanix, how we are helping with our customers. In the last several months, I've had personally several conversations with the CISOs and tried to learn what their journey looks like. And the answer has been daunting because they are challenged. It is a very challenging environment. Not a lot of people understand cryptography at the same time understand how do we transition from being non-quantum safe to be quantum safe. The first step we all know, we need a deep inventory of infrastructure, where the PKI is being used, where the cryptography is being used. And if you look at the enterprise environments, these are massive, massive environments. To understand where all the cryptography is currently applied, it requires a heavy lift in terms of doing the inventory, doing the discovery of all the assets and where the sensitive data resides. Once you have the inventory, once you understand what's the cryptography, then it leads into understanding what is the risk assessment? If, where do I have the RSA applied? Where do I have the ECC keys applied? Where do I have all these cryptography applied? Once you understand your risk score, you understand the deep understanding of the quantum risk assessment, then it leads into roadmap. Because it's not one button click. You need to understand how do I transition one app, one infrastructure, and then lead into taking it to the next set of all the applications? Because that enables you to understand the different nuances that is required for the PQC transition. Once you have done one app, one infrastructure, one digital certificate, then you can do it, bring in the whole crypto agility and do it at scale. And that would require you know, a, a vendor who can really work with you, who can partner with you. So at Cortanix, with a data security platform, what we have built, it, we, we are providing a way for you to discover all the assets, all the sensitive data across your multi-clouds, be it on your CSPs or your, on your on-premises, to provide a detailed inventory and a comprehensive dashboards around the inventory and discovery of the sensitive data and all the assets. Once you understand all the inventory, the discovery, 
then it leads you into a PQC central dashboard. Now, you may be wondering what it is. This is the gold mine. This is where you come and learn about the different risks which are associated with the quantum computing. It takes you deep into each and every segment and explains you what is the cryptography being used and how it is a threat when the quantum computing becomes real. The bugs don't stop here. The data security platform also provides comprehensive list of NIST approved algorithms, be it MLChem, MLDSA, and so on, along with SHA, to make sure that you can take all these keys which are generated through these quantum safe algorithms and apply it to your public key infrastructure space. We also have recently launched and released the NSA 2.0 suite approved algorithms as a part of data security platform. Now, like I said, the bugs don't stop over there. We also have a quantum security advisory team. It's a group of cryptographic experts as well as the industry experts who are going to help you to transition from non-quantum safe to the quantum safe air. I'm very excited that we are there to help all the enterprises, all our customers, prospects, to transition from being non-quantum safe to quantum safe. And as we know, the quantum computing is evolving. It has become very, very important. So time to act is now.